Taurus is a soul. And uh, Taurus, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of uh, July 11th through the 17th, 2016. Uh, before I begin uh, your reading, Taurus, I do want to take this time and opportunity to thank everyone who has sent in um, birthday wishes and love and support. Uh, just letting you know, uh, it is greatly appreciated by me. Um, I took a week off. Uh, for the holiday and for my birthday and actually i had a blast <laughs> for my birthday and i'm still winding down and this is the reason why your video is late so i do uh apologize for that and thank you for your patience okay so let's get right into your reading uh taurus for some tauruses that i'm reading for actually i feel that this is going to be uh, for some of you a pretty good week uh we got some interesting energy here but we're going to start off with the uh, Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups is all about well number one is the cups is related to love and emotions and also too is the opportunity of something being offered to you in terms of that so for the single Tauruses who are looking to connect this could be a week that you connect with someone new uh, there's an offer of love this also could be um, since it is a general reading and I'm trying to broaden the messages uh, the best that I can for you and give you everything that I have coming through and then, you know, apply it to whatever is close or personal significant for you. But there's an offer of something uh, new uh, coming your way. And this could be a job. This could be a new friend. This could be um, a rival of, um, you know, a new family member in terms of a birth. And it also, like I said before, a relationship. OK, something on offer. Um coming to Taurus because it is in the uh, starting position and it's your energy for this week I'm getting something that maybe something happened already in terms of um, specifically a relationship maybe there's a Taurus or two that I'm reading for connected with a water sign cancer Scorpio or Pisces male or female the aces are all about fresh starts new beginnings so it may have been that you connected with a water sign and it's uh, a new relationship for you which is good um, <clears throat> And then all of those things that I have mentioned before, um, new job opportunities, um, addition to the family by birth or any means um, that could include adoption, a new friendship coming towards you. And they could be water signs, but they don't have to necessarily be direct water signs. They could have uh, water elements in their birth chart. Uh, and again, as I've been stating, it doesn't even have to be water. It could be just an individual of any zodiac sign, something on offer, something positive coming your way, uh, Taurus this week. Okay. Uh, yesterday going back, uh, to two weeks. Now we have the, uh, five of swords. Uh, in the upright so this is still part of your energy for this week so for those Tauruses that I'm reading uh, for there was uh, some sort of conflict uh, involving relationships since it sits next to the uh, Ace of Cups and the reason why I say that is it doesn't necessarily it may but it doesn't necessarily have to be that it was some sort of conflicting stuff going on with a new relationship that started within the take uh, past two weeks um, but I'm also reading that there was some sort of conflict involving a relationship. There was something new that created the conflict with this is the established dating or, you know, long term relationships. Now, this could be with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, male or female. If that's the case, some of that energy is still going to be uh, carried out for the week for you. Um so be careful of uh, your use of words towards an individual and it could be the energy coming towards you um, this card showed up I feel and for Aries and it's the reason why I like to use different decks because I get different feelings and energy from them the five of swords really doesn't necessarily have two people um, depicted you know depicted on them but this card does and I don't know because they are very dark cards if you can see that there's another individual here uh, let me get my finger right there's an individual here right above the head of the 
person that's holding the sword and that sword is directed towards that person's head so be careful with your words um and being that the uh sharp end is facing that person this is where i'm getting the energy that it could be that taurus um has some sharp words for someone uh, close to them now this could be a romantic relationship but this could be also uh, with a friendship and somebody at the job somebody uh, within the family structure okay keep in mind and the, the energy could come your way someone using sharp words towards you the five of swords um, like the tens that show up is, a, is you know a clearing of energy so it will something will occur but it will uh, clear and then there's new energy coming through so I just feel that um, that is the potential of that happening this week and then also feel picking up the energy that has already occurred within a two week period okay whether it was with a um, romantic partner friendship something going on in the family and possibly you know with co-workers co uh, a co-worker or co-workers okay I did want to say that now there's some sort of celebration going on. So I don't know if, um, you know, Taurus is uh, celebrating or partnered with or friends with uh, a water sign because we are in the month of July and you could be hanging out with that um, person. This could also uh, be a co-worker or a family member that's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. Uh, but I do see some drinking and celebrating. So it could be a birthday. It also, uh, because it is in the upright, it could represent an invitation to uh, possibly um, some sort of social event like a wedding. It doesn't have to be that extreme, but it could be an inv invitation from someone extended to you uh, to join them in celebrating some something of importance uh, either towards them or it's related to you. But three of cups, okay. We, we all know about the three, so there's a, Taurus or two that I'm reading for that's involved in the love triangulation and it may be with a water sign cancer Scorpio or Pisces male or female again it doesn't necessarily have to be a direct water sign but it could be uh, that they have water elements in their birth chart and I've been emphasizing that it doesn't necessarily have to be attached to a water sign it could be with any zodiac sign that I'm feeling and picking up a love triangulation going on with a um, Taurus individual or two it's in the upright so that means you're enjoying the moment uh and whatever you're getting out of it is making you happy okay i'm not judging jewelry if that's what you um you know want you know uh, knock yourself out but anyway um other than the love triangulation i just feel that there could be some invitations coming through and some taurus is going out to celebrate with family and friends um and I do see some drinking, so uh, be careful of uh, not overdoing it. Just have a good time. And also to, yeah, I'm getting uh, Pisces here. I don't know why, I guess because of the moon that's showing up in this card. It could be that there's definitely water energy here. So, but I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm being led to say Pisces. Something going on with the Taurus and the Pisces. Okay, this could be the love triangulation. This could be something else, a friendship. But I'm picking up Pisces here, and I'm just throwing it out there. So um, I'll leave it up to you to connect the dots. Anyway, the tail end of your reading, Taurus, is you have the best card in the deck, the lover's card in the upright. This is all about partnerships, okay? It sits next to the uh, three of cups, and this is why I say that whoever... Uh, the Taurus or two that I'm reading for, you know, you, you're involved in a love triangulation, but you're happy and whatever it is, you're getting some sort of emotional satisfaction out of that situation because the lover sits next to that three of cups. This uh, lover's card shows up major arcana, major life event to say that partnerships uh, overall. Uh, you will be seeing eye to eye and being on the same page with one another. And this is also the formation of new relationships as a as i've explained with the ace of cups showing up that's the new relationship coming to the uh, potentially coming to the taurus's way so this energy may start friday going into the weekend uh, but this is like the best card to get in the upright position um for those single Tauruses who are looking to connect and will have the potential of meeting someone new, there's that magnetic attraction and chemistry. 
Uh, it's like, you know, if you meet someone new, it's like you've known each other for, you know, you know, you've known each other before. OK, uh, but if that's the case and it comes across that way, don't allow yourself to get caught up in an illusion. OK, it may be that that you feel, uh, but don't allow yourself to get carried away. OK, take it for what it is, uh, but it's very positive energy It's very much positive energy. And I just feel a lot of uh, connection coming through. And this is not coming through just for singles. This is coming through for those uh, Tauruses that are already established that things in your relationships going to see like everything is OK and everything is, you know, harmonious. You're seeing eye to eye with one another. You're on the same page. Everything is just working out the way that you want. Now, this may not relate to all the couples and, and the persons that you're dating, but for the most part that I'm picking up, it is. OK, so this is a pretty good reading outside of the five of swords that I feel that uh, some Tauruses are having conflicts with, you know, within a relationship, friendship, a coworker, or whatever. It's in the passing, but it's still part of your energy. So maybe that. It just needs to take place. And once it does take place, it's clearing um, as the fires represent for me and the tens, a clearing of energy and then new energy comes your way. Um, but overall, this is a very, very positive week for Tauruses, some Tauruses this week. OK, so the magical times empowerment card that I have to um, not have to, but I have selected for you. Uh, Taurus is discernment. Okay, and on this card it says, "See the truth of the situation. Use common sense and do not be fooled. Pay attention. Your intuition knows." Okay, so that's a very powerful message to complement your reading, uh, especially when it comes to uh, meeting new people. Okay, you know you you have the intuitive sense. Use it and allow it to work for you. Uh, and just be able to discern, you know, what's best for you or what's going to resonate with you. Um, so like before, you know, if the above reading doesn't resonate with any of you, then I pull these Oracle cards um, because they there may be a message in here that does resonate with you and then vice versa. OK. All right, Taurus. Once again, I want to thank you for uh, visiting my channel. I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. And once again, thank you for your patience. Until the next time, Taurus, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.